Hey guys, before I get into this video, I just need to mention that there was a slight miscommunication between me and the artist. They never sent me the feature artist vocals, and I just mixed this record and edited this video without them. But it's okay, because honestly, that'll leave a surprise for you guys when the full record comes out. But I hope this video is super helpful for y'all, and yeah, let's get right into it. Disclaimer. The routes in which mixers take to achieve great sounding results varies greatly from mixer to mixer and even more from record to record. There is no right or wrong way to mix anything, so long as you are servicing the emotion of that record. What's going on you guys, so today I'm just going to live mix a record by my boy J-Mac, it's called Divine, it's off his Volume 3 project, which is currently not out, but we're still working on it, and yeah, I'm just going to really go through my thoughts as I'm mixing. Oh, we get throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh, power, got them on side where I can say- Alright, so before I really start mixing anything, I just listen to the record a bit, get the vibe, because every single decision I make in my mix is based off of that vibe and bringing all of it out. I also want to put everyone onto this, if you're not already aware. Options activate heat if you don't see anything you can go to your mix window and then hit this little arrow in the bottom right and then you get this up here okay this thing is freaking awesome essentially what it is is avid's version of like analog summing in the box so you get some of that analog warmth and stuff without having to use any outboard gear or a console. It's not the exact same but it's definitely better than not having it at least that's what I think. Like with it, it's just a little bit more exciting and there's a little bit more depth that I just, it's hard to get any other way. So I am gonna throw a compressor. I'm gonna start with the beat and I really don't think it needs much. I might compress it a hair just to see what it's gonna do for me. I may not fully commit to it, which is fine, but I just wanna try it just to see what happens. Now, if you're wondering why am I compressing this beat, even though I am compressing it a little bit, it also just kind of brings out some details and does this frequency EQ kind of thing to the whole beat that just helps it sit nicely together. That's good as is. Because I'm only using the two track beat for this mix, that's pretty much it for this, for the beat. I don't really need to do anything else to it. Uh, so I'm just gonna unmute the lead vocal. Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no, yo, type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gonna love me more when you beat that ice, mommy, gonna whine, uh, ain't gonna Cool. So the way I tend to approach vocals is the very first thing I'll do is mix the lead vocal in with the whole beat. And then as far as like priority goes in the mix, beat first, fit the lead vocal into the beat while still keeping it up front and articulate and then work backwards from there. So for this song, it's going to be the dubs, which are like his lead vocal doubles. And then after that will probably be the ad libs. And then these purple tracks at the bottom, I'll put them in last. But yeah, so this lead vocal, it needs to be a little more exciting. It needs to be a little bit more bright, but not in a super airy way. More so in an articulate way. So first thing I usually do is I'll just DS because sibilance is a pain. And I find that taking care of it in stages is the cleanest result, but to each their own. I got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gon' love me more when you beat that ice, mommy. Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge. Uh, call me up when you want this touch. Uh, show me love to you. I'm also gonna loop out this part right here. So I'm gonna put this Neve 1073 preamp EQ combo on here. Uh, this thing sounds amazing and it's really there just for texture and color purposes. I'm gonna bring it up pretty loud with the actual preamp itself and then I'm gonna trim the output so that it's not ripping our ears off. Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no, yo, type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you beat that ice, mommy, gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the floor mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh, power, got them all sour, I so without what I just did, it sounds like this, and then I'm gonna put in the preamp EQ. 
okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you beat that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we so it definitely brings it up in level a bit. I did trim the output on that last pass just a hair because I, I'm very particular about the relationship that the vocal has with the beat. I want it to sit in it and feel like it's a part of it, but still be clear, which is a never ending battle. But at the same time, it's definitely possible. And that all starts with good level. All right, from here, I pretty much always jump straight into compression. My thoughts on EQing versus compressing first, it really depends, but a general rule of thumb that I tend to go by that I picked up from one of my mentors is if you like the tone of whatever it is that you're working on then you can go straight to compressing but if you don't like the tone of it you should probably eq it a little bit so that the tone matches what you're hearing in your head before you compress it's kind of like fire in fire out or good sound in good sound out if you put something crappy through your compressor, it's probably just gonna sound crappier after it's compressed. Yeah, that's my general thought process on that. As far as compression goes on rap vocals and pop vocals, I tend to do the standard FET opto combo. So I'll have a FET compressor first, which is usually an 1176, but a distressor is also great for it. Now I'm picking the Rev E because it's a bit cleaner than the blue stripe is. And I love a blue stripe, but for this record, I don't want all of that color. So that's why I'm using this one. I also tend to start with an eight to one ratio because I am a fan of compression. I like a lot of compression, but also your ratio has a huge impact on the tone shaping that the compressor applies to whatever your source is. Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you beat that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh, Compression is insanely important, and if you guys just notice, I switch between 4 to 1 and 8 to 1 on the ratio, and immediately it just comes way more forward if I keep it on 8 to 1 rather than 4 to 1 with the same input and output settings and the same attack and release. So I'm going to keep it on 8 to 1 for this one. Actually, hold on. Power, got them all sour. I can set it up, set the day in an hour, and I can beat it up from the bed to the shower. Said you need it quick because he home in an hour. Uh. Actually, I take that back. So I like it better on four to one for this particular song because eight to one, he sounds a bit choked and a bit squashed. But four to one, if we just bring the output volume up a little bit, then that kind of takes care of the loss in level. And I think this attack and release sound great for this particular record. Now, it's important to remember on any 1176 or any FET compressor, it's going to be fast on the attack and release no matter what it's set to. So even slow on one of these compressors is still pretty fast in the grand scheme of compression. Now, it's mostly taking care of transients and stuff like that, but it also adds a bit of a, a tone shift and a color shift. Another thing I do all the time when I'm mixing is I'll take like very short breaks very often so like every five or seven minutes i'll take like a two minute break and the reason for that is it keeps my ears fresh and my perspective as objective as possible because the longer you listen the more skewed your perspective gets and as the mixer you need to keep an objective perspective on the information that is coming to your ears okay so even on this four to one now that i give my ears a slight break from that it was a little too compressed, so instead of pulling this input parameter down, I want to actually trim the output of the preamp a little bit more because it comes right before the compressor. Uh, power, got them all sour. I can set it up, set the day in an hour, and I can beat it up from the bed to the shower. Said you need it quick, cause he home in an hour. Uh, we'll open up, cause I'm here. Nah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I know the compression is sounding good when the vocal just sounds right. It's like, that just sounds like what Jay sounds like in the room when he's rapping to me. So like when I record him, I'm really just trying to match what I'm hearing in the room and the energy that he's bringing to the take. Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you beat that ice, mommy gon' want. So that first compressor sounds great. I am gonna throw another one on here the optical one. Um, for me, that's usually an LA-2A. However, sometimes I'll use like a Fairchild. That's always pretty cool. Um, um, and this one is, my optical compressor is really just for color and extra, it's really just for color and saturation from the tubes. Um, and for those of you out there that know, you know that the tubes are everything. And for those of you that don't, 
get on it. I ain't gonna judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh, power, got them all sour, I can set it up, set the day in an hour, and I can beat it up from the bed to the shower, say Cool, so I'm barely hitting this one. It's only doing about a dB and a half of gain reduction. But as I AB it, you can hear the richness that comes in and out. Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face, brain, booty, yeah, I know your type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you beat that ice, mommy, gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh. It's amazing. It's just like a little bit of extra excitement. The other thing about compression, especially for vocals, is because vocals are so dynamic, compression is great for keeping them in place. But another way to think about what it's doing is to me, it's kind of like it's cleaning up the edges. Like if you're drawing a picture, for example, and you start with a rough sketch in pencil, you're going to have a bunch of wispy lines that are generally in the right place and like where they should be. But then you're going to go back over and clean that up. Compression to me is kind of cleaning up those rough edges to a certain extent. It does a little bit more than that. But as far as the clarity and like where something sits in the mix location wise, as far as like low to high goes and left to right goes, like keeping it right there compression does that for me okay so as far as um this vocal goes it's sounding great i do think it could use one more eq i tend to do my surgical eq post compression just because the two compressors also act as eqs and they get it pretty much like 95 percent of the way there most of the time so i'll use one more eq post compression just to clean up to me it's this has a little bit too much low mids so like i'm not entirely sure where i think it's around 500 cycles but it's probably between five and 700 and then i might push 1k or 2k a little bit more but let's just see what happens Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face, brain, booty, yeah, I know your type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you beat that ice, mommy, gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh, power, got them all sour, I can say. Okay, so the lead vocal, as far as direct inserts are concerned, is like pretty much where it needs to be. My philosophy as far as mixing goes is I use my direct inserts to do the majority of the heavy lifting and get whatever the source is to about like 95%, 98%. And then I use parallel processing to add that last nice little glimmer on top. So for this vocal, maybe parallel compression. That might be too much. I'm not entirely sure yet. We're gonna find out. A parallel doubler for sure, just to widen the lead vocal a bit, make it feel bigger. Parallel chorus to add some shimmer, very subtle amounts. And then probably a reverb and delay, but if I had to guess, it might just be a reverb. So let me do what I know for sure is gonna go on first, which is a doubler and chorus. And then after that, we'll go from there. Also, before I get into this, when I do my parallels, my philosophy and the way I do all of this stuff is I work backwards. So I'll do way too much of whatever the process is that I'm currently working on, and then I'll pull it back to taste. So right now, this. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Way too much chorus. I know that. But if we just play it. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gonna love me more when you beat that ice, mommy. Gonna whine, uh, ain't gonna judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch. Uh, show me love till you can't no more. Uh, much better. You might not be able to actually like hear a huge difference there, which I don't blame you, but remember each of these changes is like a very small increment. And then once we get to the very end of the mix, it's all gonna make a huge difference. But I'm gonna mute this or unmute this a few times for you guys, just so that you can hear what it's doing. To me, it's adding a little bit of shimmer to his vocal and a little bit of, it kind of like lifts it just like a little bit. Just a very, very little bit. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gon' love me more when you beat that ice, mommy. Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch. Uh, show me love till you can't no more. Uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that. And also, when I go back to check if the level that I've set this new effect at is at a good level and I mute it, I should miss it when it's gone, but not notice it completely when it comes back. Not blatantly notice it. More so like, oh, that sounds 
sounds better, but it's not like a completely separate sound. That's if it's not supposed to be like a major delay throw or a reverb throw where you want the vocal or whatever it is to be absolutely drenched in that effect. That's a whole different situation. And by all means do that if your record calls for it. But as far as taking this vocal from where it's at to keeping it relatively the same, but just a little bit better, that's my philosophy as far as setting the levels. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gonna love me more when you peep that ice, mommy. Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch. Uh, show me love till you can't no more. Uh, we party from dust till dust. And the other thing I noticed is once I added that chorus, it felt a little too upper mids heavy, so I just gave back like a DB to 115 hertz. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy. Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch. Uh. All right, so now I'm gonna do this doubler. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy. Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch. Uh, show me love till you can't no more. Uh. I love a parallel doubler, man. It does so many wondrous things. So basically on the waves doubler, I take the direct out, which is the like the source, the original vocal, the, the copy. And now I only have the left and right doubles or copies that the plugin makes for me. And then I just turned it down to taste. What I'm looking for here is a slightly wider vocal without the chorusy effect that the doubler adds. I think I found that with where I have it set right now, and I'm gonna AB it for you guys. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy. Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge. Uh, call me up when you want this touch. Uh, show me love till you can't no more. Uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that. I do think this could use a little bit of parallel compression. That's it's like very much so quiet. The vocal needs a little bit more weight. I tend to use a DBX 160 a whole lot. I got it from Dave Pensado. I got that trick from Dave Pensado. That's not original by any means, but it works really, really, really well. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy. Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge. Uh, call me up when you want this touch. Uh, show me love till you can't no more. Uh, we party from dust till dust. You know that. Uh, we can get freaking on the flow mat all right, that's cool. That's actually perfect. Now, one thing I do before my parallel compressor is another de-esser. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype. Uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy. Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up. Perfect. I de-esser before my parallel compression because when you squash stuff really hard, it's gonna bring all that sibilance up even more. So even though I mitigated it on the direct inserts with the first de-esser, It'll come out more with the parallel compressor, so I just take care of it there as well. Now we're gonna go for some reverb. It's really important that you guys put your time-based effects into the mix relatively early on um, because they take up so much space and you need to have them as part of the information that you're making your decisions off of as early as possible. I know I've done like five other parallels before this point, but I also knew that the reverb was gonna be light for this one, so I, that's why I didn't put it in very very first but um yeah let's do it right now you gonna love me more when you peep that ice mommy gon' whine uh, ain't gon' judge uh call me up when you want this touch uh, show me love till you can't no more uh, we party okay uh got what i like uh face brain booty yeah no yo type got you all worked up loving all this hype uh you gonna love me more when you peep that ice mommy gon' whine uh ain't gon' judge uh call me up when you want this touch uh show me love till you can't no more uh we party from dust till dust you know that uh we can get freaky on the flow mat uh if i throw more will you throw back uh baby i know i be off that uh power got them all sour Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type Got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy Gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh, power, got him. All right, perfect. So there's hardly any reverb on this, and I'm very, very aware of that. I don't want this to be drenched in reverb. I want to hear what he's saying, but I do want him to feel like he's part of the music, which is what this reverb is doing. It's kind of helping him sit back just a little bit more when feel like he's part of the room that the music was recorded in. Even though this beat was programmed, like feeling like the music and 
the vocal are one is very important and this helps us mesh those two now i did eq it beforehand i know some of y'all might be thinking like why would you take this much out of your mid-range on your reverb and it's to preserve the vocal clarity because if i have a buildup of one to like 5k on my reverb it's going to take away from the actual dry vocal which is what we're hearing and understanding and that takes the most importance so this is assisting vocal clarity and also when you eq this heavily you can get away with putting more reverb into the mix because you're kind of turning it down with the eq a little bit so then you can just turn it up a little bit more um with the fader okay uh, got what i like uh face brain booty yeah no yo type got you all worked up loving all this hype uh you gonna love me more when you beat that ice mommy gonna whine uh ain't all right so i think the lead vocal is in a great spot um so i'm gonna move on to these doubles and what I am going to do is actually just copy and paste pretty much this whole chain over, except the parallels are going to be quite different. Actually, not quite different. I probably won't parallel compress the doubles so that they sit further back. And I know I'm doing this without listening to each plugin as I add it, but I'm just going to assume that it's in a pretty decent spot and then adjust. Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh, power, got them all sour, I can set it up, set the day in an hour, and I can beat it up from the bed to the Said you need it quick cause he home in an hour Perfect. What I try to get out of doubles and where I try and place them is right behind the lead vocal so that when they play you get that feeling of emphasis and that there's more there but not so much that you're like oh there's a second take to a trained ear you're gonna know that there's a second take there but this is more for like a general audience you just want them to know that like hey there's supposed to be more impact on the lines where this double is that's what i'm trying to do here and i think it's like pretty much there already honestly Okay, uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, uh, power, got them all sour, I can set it up. So I actually just changed the attack and release and I made them as fast as they could possibly go really to like squash the vocals the background vocals a bit more so that they kind of fit in behind the lead vocal a bit better but it's really all preference if you guys liked the attack and release where it was before that's totally cool but for me personally since i'm mixing this record i need those vocals to sit tighter behind the lead vocal so that's what i'm gonna go with Okay, I uh, got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh. Okay, so now we're on to the ad-libs, and if you guys will notice, we have these two layers look like they're more or less playing at the same time and then this layer is its own thing what i tend to do when i have stuff that's for sure playing at the same time they're gonna get panned for this particular song i don't really want super wide vocals so they're not gonna go that far the other thing i want you guys to notice is see how much louder this part this layer of these ad libs are compared to like the rest of it that's way too loud so what i'm gonna do is highlight these guys and then clip gain it down I'll go back and listen. From dust till dust, you know that. We can get freaky on the flow mat. If I throw more, will you throw back? Baby, I know. I'll be off that. Power, got them all sour. I can set it up, set the day in an hour. And I can beat it up from the bed to the shower. Because these are all ad libs and they're all pretty short, what I'm going to do is select all of them. Go to move to, new folder, basic folder, change that to a routing folder, route tracks to new folder. Call it ad libs, hit create, cool. Now anything that I apply to this ad libs folder is gonna be applied to all of the ad libs. So we're gonna go de again, 1073, again. Type, uh, you gonna love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, you know that. Uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more.
So since these guys are have some stuff playing at the same time, I'm gonna try a different compressor, and I'm gonna start with this the SSL G Bus one just because I love how it sounds and it's it's a cool compressor. Type, uh, you gonna love me more when you beat that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more. Uh, we party from dust till dust, yeah, you know that, you know that. Uh, we can get freaky on the flow man, uh, flow man. Uh, if I throw more, we can throw back, throw back. Uh, baby I know, I be off that, off that. Uh, power, got them. On sour. I can set it up, set the day in an hour, and I can beat it up from the bed to the shower. Shit, you need it quick, cause he home in an hour. Uh, we'll open up, cause I'm here. <laughs> this part is too loud, cause it's like super unbalanced between the right and left. Home in an hour. Uh, we'll open up, cause I'm here. <laughs> And it's also important to note that I actually, I don't think my hearing is even on both sides, but that's completely okay because music isn't perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. We're making art. Home in an hour. Uh, we'll open up because I'm here. Ha. Sick, sick, sick. This is in a good place. Uh, just roll through when you want to, mom. Uh, hey, got a little time, make it all be yours. Uh, glass of that wine, help us both unwind. Ain't nothing else in mind except you. Uh, mommy know I stay on grind and stay trill. Uh, mommy always stay on line. All right, so this phrase is a hair too loud. I'm going to shave a DB off that. That wine, help us both unwind. Ain't nothing else in mind except you. Uh, mommy know I stay on that wine, help us both unwind. Ain't nothing else so jay does this a lot where he has these little breaks and interludes just let the beat rock kind of thing you know i'm gonna turn all of those ad libs up a little bit but i don't think they need to be super upfront and in your face because he's kind of like i said he's letting the beat rock so we don't want to take away from the beat hey. i am gonna toss the la2a on these ad libs as well from dust till dust yeah you know that you know that uh, we can get freaky on the flow man uh, if i throw more we can throw back throw back uh, baby i know i be off that off that uh, power like I said, my LA-2A is really just for color and for the tubes that are inside of it. But it sounds freaking phenomenal and it just does a thing that sounds great on almost everything. From dust till dust, yeah, you know that. You know that. Uh, we can get freaky on the flow, man. Uh, flow, man. Uh, if I throw more, we can throw back. Throw back. Uh, Baby, I know. I be off that. Off that. Uh, now, I copied the EQ from the other vocals over to this, but... This is in stereo and this is also a mid side EQ. So, what I'm gonna do is boost 1K on the ad libs only on the sides. From dust till dust, yeah, you know that. You know that. Uh, we can give. What this is gonna do is leave the mid range of the ad libs untouched in the middle of the stereo field, but boost it on the sides. So, now the middle can be dominated by the lead vocal and its doubles, and the ad libs can live on the sides and be a little bit more present. From dust till dust, yeah, you know that. You know that. Uh, we can get freaky on the flow, man. Uh, flow, man. Uh, if I throw more, we can throw back. Throw back. Uh, Baby, I know. I be off that. Off that. Uh, power. Got them on sour. Hey. I can set it up. Set the I just turned down the ad libs quite a bit because I thought they were taking away from the lead vocal. From dust till dust, yeah, you know that. You know that. Uh, we can get freaky on the flow, man. Uh, flow, man. Uh, if I throw more, we can throw back. Throw back. Uh, Baby, I know. I be off that. Off that. Uh, power. Got them on sour. Hey. I can set it up, set the day in an hour. And I can nah. beat it up from the bed to the shower. Shit, you need it quick because he home in an hour. Uh, we'll open up because I'm here. Ha. I'm just now realizing that these are also just ad libs. So I'm gonna change the color and drop them in here. When you add new tracks to a routing folder, you have to manually route them. Just keep that in mind that just adding them to the folder isn't gonna route them automatically. Won't this touch? Uh, show me love till you can't no more. Uh, we party from dust till dust. Yeah, you know that. You know that. Uh, we can get freaky on the flow, man. Uh, flow, man. Uh, if I throw more, we can throw back. Throw back. Uh, Baby, I know. I be off that. Off that. I work, got them all sour. Hey, I can set it up, set the day in an hour. And I can nah. beat it up from the bed to the shower. Shit, you need it quick, cause he home in an hour. Uh, uh, we're loving up, cause I'm here. Uh, I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. Uh, get your friends, huh? Uh, they can meet my friends, huh? Sound like puff, yeah, we could be friends. Yeah, sound like puff, yeah, we could be friends. Yeah, sound like puff. 
these vocals sound great. They're getting to the place that I think they should be. Um, there's a few things left over that I think need to be taken care of. The first thing that I'm going to do is take all of the parallels and route them to a routing folder as well. Just call it FX. And then what I'm going to do here is toss the lo-fi plugin on him, the stock Pro Tools plugin. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust. So what this does is I'm actually decreasing the sample size from 24 bits to 16, and then I'm also adding a little bit of saturation just to the effects. This is such a subtle change that I sometimes convince myself that I can hear it, even though I probably can't. That's okay. It's really just adding a little bit of depth. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love. The last thing was kind of bothering me was the sibilance on the vocals is still a little bit rough. So what I'm gonna do is take all of the vocal folders and move them to another folder and call it vocals. And then on all of the vocals, we're gonna put Soothe. A lot of people use this to fix like resonances and stuff, which like, of course, that's what I use it for, but I actually use it as a de-esser more than anything. It's so incredibly useful for de-essing because you can just isolate the S and it doesn't take away anything. It's not like a shelf filter like, like most de-essers are, which essentially what that means is it's gonna roll off wherever you set it to and above, and then it's gonna duck that whole shelf whenever the S is play. So instead of getting rid of just the S, you're gonna get rid of the S and everything above it, which I don't necessarily want. Sue lets me work around that. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love to you. Cool. Perfect. Sibilance is tricky because you need sibilance. You absolutely need it because if there's not enough S, it sounds like the person has a lisp and they kind of sound watery. And if you have too much, then it'll rip your ears off. So finding that happy medium is a consistent struggle for mixers. I already know. Like I said, my general fix for it is multi-stage DSing. So you start with the DSer, get rid of it first, and then gradually do it where needed once you add stuff to your mix that's going to exaggerate the sibilance. Like for me, the parallel compression. And then also once you just add a bunch of vocals in, especially vocals that are stacked, and you have a bunch of S's playing at the same time, you can start getting buildups there. So that's kind of what the Soothe is, is there for, is to take care of the general sibilance build up throughout all of the vocal layers okay i got what i like uh face brain booty yeah no yo type got you all worked up loving all this hype uh you gonna love me more when you peep that ice mommy gonna whine uh ain't gonna judge uh call me up when you want okay so what i'm noticing now is i don't know if there's enough low end okay i got what i like uh face brain booty yeah no yo type got you all i blatantly lied there's plenty of low end Okay, I got what I Cool. So to me, this mix is more or less done. I am going to obviously send it off to Jay and get his feedback and everything. But as far as this video is concerned, for a first pass, I think this is pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is apply my mix bus processing, which I always save it to the end because I want my mix to sound as good as possible without it and then use my mix bus to accentuate the mix that I've just done. Now, here's the thing about mix bus processing. To me, it serves as a master chain because I don't like mixing without knowing generally what my master is gonna sound like. So I've taken my master chain and just put it on my mix, mix bus more or less. If you really wanna draw the lines between where my mix ends and where my master begins, it would probably be the EQ in this first plugin. Let me stop talking and just load it up. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh. Okay, so this is the Abbey Rhodes TG Mastering Chain from Waves. This is just a channel strip, it has a tape emulation 
It has a four band EQ, a compressor slash limiter, depending on what you set it to, some filters, which are just high and low pass filters, and then a stereo spreader. This first thing is the tape. And this is like pretty much the end of the mix bus, as far as I'm concerned. The master starts with the EQ. If I were to consider my mix finished, it would probably be at this point. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice. Now, if I take it out, okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love. Technically, it's rolling off some of the super, super lows, but what that does for me is it tightens the bass up, and it also is adding a little bit of a shelf to the high end, so there's a little bit of that modern sparkle on there. It's also compressing very lightly because it is tape. This is kind of like another version of the heat, but both of them are subtle, so putting them together gives me extra, just extra depth, really. Also, my mix bus is always in midside. Everything on my mix bus is in midside. The reason for this is because, for those of you who aren't aware, the SSL G bus compressor, which is this guy, this is the plug-in version of it from Waves. There's a version made by a company called Smart, the Smart C1 and Smart C2. I've used the Smart C1. It's a badass compressor, to say the very least. Now, you can set it to dual mono or stereo, and when you set it to dual mono, your mix sounds absolutely massive, way bigger than stereo compression will. But the thing with that is when you dual mono compress your entire mix, things start to get wonky because it compresses the left and the right independently from each other. So when you have stuff panned, especially if you have live drums, which is gonna be uneven panning because you're gonna have like one tom here on the left and then like your floor tom on the right over here and then like the snares in the middle and then your cymbals are all different and played at different times, it gets weird. But Mid side processing to me is a happy medium in between stereo and dual mono. It's not as big as dual mono, but it retains the same solidity and center image that stereo retains. So I get a little bit bigger sound than I would with stereo compression and potentially a little bit more depth. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, yeah, you, you know, know that, that. You know that. Uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, throw back. Uh, baby, I know, I be off that, off that. Uh, power, got them all sour, hey, I can set it up, set the day in an hour, and I can nah. beat it up from the bed to the Shower. you need it quick cause he home in an hour. Uh, we'll open up cause I'm here. Hi. On the EQ, I tried EQing this, the, the subs and the lows a little bit more, putting some more back in, but when I listen to it, it just doesn't need it. Like there's, there's plenty already. I did push 1K on the whole mix a little bit more because mainly mastering what it comes down to is good EQ and not necessarily a whole lot of compression, but it'll be a good mid-range that is nice and solid because 1K is the frequency that human ears can hear the best. Uh, it's just how our anatomy works and as long as your mid-range is solid, it should translate pretty well across different sources. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this. Okay, so the next thing I usually put is Soothe again, but I'm actually going to refrain from doing that right now and first put the God Particle on. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off, flash, you just slide. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah, no yo type, got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh, you gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh, ain't gon' judge, uh, call me up when you want this touch, uh, show me love till you can't no more, uh, we party from dust till dust, you know that, you know that, uh, we can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, if I throw more, will you throw back, uh, baby, I know, I be off that, off uh, power, got them all sour, hey, flash, you just slide. Okay, I got what I like, uh, face brain booty, yeah. So once I added the God Particle, which for y'all that don't know, it's essentially Jason Joshua's mix bus in a plugin. 
It's a three band EQ, three bands of multiband compression and a limiter. And it really is really hard not to use it. It sounds so consistently good. Sometimes though, it doesn't necessarily do the trick for certain records because some records don't need to be as up in your face as the God Particle tends to make things. So when that does too much, I actually tend to use the UA Capital Mastering Compressor as a substitute, or sometimes I just don't compress the master at all. You don't always need compression. But once I added the God Particle, the bells in the beat got a little bit too present and kind of got in the way of things. So uh, yeah, I just EQ'd the beat around 1, 2K. Hey, Okay, I got what I like, uh Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type Got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh You gon' love me more when you peep that ice Mommy gon' whine, uh Ain't gon' judge, uh Call me up God damn it, CPU Okay, so I'm back with some revisions on Divine Personally I listened on a few different sources and I definitely overestimated the low end. I do think there's a little too much of it. Uh, so I'm really just gonna tweak that. But other than that, this song's good. Okay, I got what I like, uh. Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type. Got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh. You gon' love me more when you peep that ice, mommy gon' whine, uh. Ain't gon' judge, uh. Call me up when you want this touch, uh. Show me love till you can't no more, uh. We party from dust till dusk, you know that. We can get freaky on the flow mat, uh. If I throw more, we can throw back, uh. Baby, I know, I be off that, uh. Power, got them all sour. I can set it up, set the day in an hour, and I can beat it up from the bed to the the shower said you need it quick cuz he home in an hour uh, we'll open up cuz I'm here So much better. Oh my goodness. So much better. So, so, so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna just run this from the top, let y'all listen for a little bit, and then that's the end of this video. Hey, go ahead. Uh -huh. All your friends are on. If you try and chill, you can hey, just flash it. You can just slide. Okay, I uh, got what I like, uh Face brain booty, yeah, no yo type Got you all worked up, loving all this hype, uh You gon' love me more when you peep that ice Mommy gon' whine, uh Ain't gon' judge, uh Call me up when you want this touch, uh Show me love till you can't no more, uh We party from dust till dust, you know that We can get freaky on the flow mat, uh, If I throw more, we can throw back, uh, Baby, I know, I be off that, uh, Power, got them all sour I can set it up, set the day in an hour And I can beat it up from the bed to the the shower said you need it quick cuz he home in an hour uh, we'll open up cuz I'm here all right that's it I hope you guys enjoyed something from this video stay on the lookout I'm gonna be dropping these weekly have a great day peace